Hello, welcome back to Worms Armageddon on a Nintendo 64. I am Ultra Grunt, and today we are doing Who Left the Floodgates Open. Apparently, um, the mission descriptions are complaining about Noah not being here. Noah has nothing to do with this. He didn't collect two worms, did he? Oh well. So yeah, um, this mission is not really anything new we've got to get. Uh, we've got a prod. I might show that off later. The, the prod's not really anything special, but it's fun to use if, um, you know, if you can use it. Um, basically, this mission is kill everyone, but um, like the last mission, you need to get up higher because the water's constantly rising. There's um, a bunch of weapon crates that will spawn, or already have spawned. There's um, a flamethrower that you can never get. If there's some way of getting it, I don't know how you're supposed to get it in time. Because, um... Ooh, what should I do? I'll just probably zoom through. Oh, I hurt myself slightly. But yeah, that, that crate there next to the secret agent here. Um, he gets that flamethrower, and I do not know if there's any way to get to that before he gets it. Because you have to break through, obviously. Just seems pretty hard to do. Oh, by the way, the edges of the screen, the uh, yellow and pink, left and to the left and top of the screen, uh, that is not a glitch with my capture card or anything. That's just that's just like how the borders are in this game. Like when you're in a uh, enclosed area, there is um, you can always see the borders on the outside. What do you mean? cooler if it was like a hall of mirrors effect. I always think this is cool. Oh, King, no! How dare you! Look at him. That field soldier, he makes me sick. Just sitting on that green ass shaped thing in the water. Uh, right, so I'm going to ninja rope up and I'm going to um, collect as many crates as I can. I'm not going to be able to get anything from that side though, because, uh, well, I'm going to have to break from to get anything else. For, uh... Oh crap! Don't hurt me, don't hurt me! Oh, it hurt me. He took one damage off of his bow. Oh god, this could be bad. I didn't think it'd be his turn next, I thought it'd be that other one next to the health crate. Don't hurt me! Watch this! Ooh, almost. <laughs> well, there we go. That's two of their guys drowned. <laughs> Gotta get back up there. I need to get a crate over there first. I can't remember what it is. Oh, I was hoping for a damage times two. Damage times to on this mission would be awesome. Right, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to blow torch through here. So then, um, if I get hit, I won't fall down. I won't fall down into the water now. Unless someone uses an earthquake or something, but I really doubt that will happen. Well, look, for once, the computer doesn't have unlimited teleport. Uh, you know what? We're going to prod this guy. Poke! Poke! Oh, I missed. <laughs> I missed using the prod. Now, hopefully, this secret agent here will, like, eventually drown. Because it saves me time. Watch this. I don't want to be digging through all the landscape to get to him. It looks like he's trying to break through to the other secret agent for some reason. What? Oh, yes, sir. Right, let's try this again. Poke! Oh. Oh. oh, he didn't fall in the water. 
but now we did. <laughs> Don't have to worry about that anymore. It's too late for guardsmen. What is he gonna do? Um, okay. Oh yeah, just so you know, you can't go through that. Even though he's broke through to the, um, he's broke through the ceiling, you can't go through it. It, it just acts like another invincible wall. His homing missile is ass. See, if it just hits him just right, it could take him out. By knowing my luck, it probably won't. Probably like hit a stray bird or something like that while flying across the map. No, no, it hit him. I don't know what it did. Oh, it just put him inside that little area he's opened up. Go on, shoot again, secret agent. Blow him up, blow him up, blow him up. Oh. <laughs> I like how I said perfect after that shot. Uh. You know, before um, when I was younger, I thought the bazooka logo it, it looked like like just a cherry for some reason. Like you know, the white line around the outside is just um, the <laughs> like the top of the cherry, and then. So is that little yellowish part at the back of the bazooka round. And obviously the end of it was a, a cherry. I don't know why I thought it was a cherry. I was thinking, how is that a bazooka? Is that what a bazooka looks like? When I shoot it out, it doesn't look like a cherry. Ooh, that could have been really bad then. <laughs> Uh, I'd prod him, but I don't think he'd go over, so I'm gonna just minigun him again. Bye bye! <laughs> Yay, a gold medal! And look, we've got um, three fast walks for the team now. Um. I can't remember if we're getting any in any of the missions, but um, if we use them in deathmatch at all, if I find a use for them, I'll use them in deathmatch to show them off. So uh, we're just going to play another round of um, deathmatch. See if we can rank up. Now, I think I, what I'm going to do here is show off sudden death. Um, because sudden death, it can be one of two things. It can be sinking the uh, landscape. Or, um, what it can do sometimes is it will take everyone's health down to one. So it's one shot, one kill. But it looks like it's just, um, going to be sinking. So, uh, as you can see, look how fast walks are there. Um, but I'm not going to use them, I don't think, yet. Stick with the bazooka for now and blow Lambo up. Bye bye, Lambo. Ooh. Now one thing I haven't seen um, for a while on this is um, in one of the utility crates uh, you can sometimes get a uh, crate spy so you can see what's inside the crate without picking it up and somebody stole my old voice Need to get it out of there before he drowns. Quick, it use a jetpack. There's no balloons here for you. You to use a jetpack. Ooh, a banana bomb. Um, you know what? I'm think. I'm not sure about this. Uh, yeah, I could just do this. <laughs> what the? Oh, 
feared the destructive power of bananas. This is why you don't eat five fruit a day. It results in a fatality. Hmm. I don't know how powerful a banana van technically is. What the hell are you doing, bunnykins? <laughs> anyway, I don't know how much damage the um, banana bomb does in total, but um, like each one does a set amount altogether. I think it's about 60 or 70 each banana. And with the damage too, it's just an awesome weapon. You can destroy pretty much the entire map with just one banana bomb. Um, that was the battle axe that just halves everyone's health. So if I just like just then. Just hit someone with it and it halves their uh, total health. Oh, yes, it's uh, it's useful at times. I don't use it all the time though. It's more of a thing if you're desperate to get rid of someone. Um, could use the kamikaze. But that won't be very fun. <laughs> we gotta hear the evil laugh to I'm kill him. <laughs> Oh, it's not... My worms aren't saying the best line yet. <laughs> They're not saying the, um... They say this line sometimes when, um, they hurt themselves. Uh, it's... It's better than that hey a fool thing. That's said. So, right, uh, we got ranked up that, from that. Um, I'll show you what's changed afterwards. But, uh, I'm gonna show you the options real quick. Um, here in the options menu, there's just like there's a couple of different things that can change, like deathmatch and um, multiplayer. Um, you can change uh, the the option to um, turn on fall damage uh, or turn it off. You can change how much health is in each health crate as well. For some reason, mine's at 75. Uh, you can change the mines, like how much time it takes for them to blow up. Um, if your worm should teleport in straight away on the game instead of being randomly placed. Uh, how much health your worm starts off with. The move thing, you, like, you can change it to the uh, little select worm thing. And you can change the game type as well, this just affects weapons though. Um, I might show some of them off later, but usually I stick with Super Banana, which is uh, one I unlocked a while ago. And then the anchor is like to stop your worms from moving at all. Um, this is your turn time. It can be six day. Uh, this is like if you're playing with one controller for multiplayer. You, that's just the time you can use to uh, hand the controller over. Uh, the game time limit, obviously, and well, that's about it. There's nothing really else to show, so uh, I think I'm just going to cut the video off here. So next time we will uh, continue mission mode. Oh yeah, and this is the control menu, but you don't care about that. <laughs> because I've already explained most of the controls. So right, uh, see you next time.